Hi, my name is Siva Atriya, and I'll be doing a course on NPTEL on introduction to probability. We'll be at 12 week course. We'll begin with basic concepts of probability that you've already seen before, perhaps uh, sample space, events, probability, conditional probability, where one event affects the probability of another event, or independence, where there's no connection between one event's occurrence and the probability of another. And once you finish this, we will try to emulate this idea over experiments where we repeat it many, many times. One is using independence, where each trial doesn't affect the outcome of the previous trial. These give rise to a notion of Bernoulli trials and consequently the binomial distribution and, as, and the geometric one where you wait for the first success. And then as limiting concepts, the Poisson distribution automatically appears. And once we do this, we will introduce notion of dependence between two trials then the hypergeometric will appear naturally. And once all this is done, we will formalize notation and place them as random variables. Uh, on, they're called discrete random variables. And out of which, there's a natural notion of probability mass function, expectation, variance, and dependence, which we will thoroughly discuss. Once this is done, then we move on to the idea of uncountable spaces. These are, the, no, the term uncountable may be unfamiliar with many of you, but the idea is that uh, these are natural notions of normal and uh, exponential distribution which you have seen. These takes values on a continuum uh, spaces, like normal random variable puts weights on a real line, exponential puts weights on the, on the positive real line, and so on and so forth. Once you understand these concepts properly, we will again formalize them into continuous random variables, where we will again discuss the concept of probability density function and uh, expectation variance and independence. Once this whole thing is formalized, we will come and complete the loop of showing probability is the same as relative frequency, so justifying the entire uh, modeling mechanism using two theorems. One is law of large numbers, and the other is a computational tool called central limit theorem, which is widely applicable and how, why normal naturally appears in many cases. One unique feature of the course will be we use the package R to illustrate examples using simulations of what all you've done in the entire uh, course in terms of theory. So for an application point of view, if you're interested in applications, you can, you can work with R and learn about all these concepts immediately. And if you're interested in the theory aspects of it, the course will be fairly theoretical and you'll be able to understand the application playing with R as and when the concepts come up. Thank you.